welcome back to Crypto with Lily. As always, it's such a great pleasure to have you here again. Today, we're going to talk about a pretty interesting and cool project called Tune FM. This is a project, um, well, actually, this is like a street, a, um, stream, music streaming platform and also a music NFT marketplace where creators are going to be able to monetize their creation. They are going to also be able to mint the NFTs and later on selling on the marketplace. Also, they got a play to earn that is going to be like more uh, on the fans side. The fans are going to be able to get paid just by playing the songs. And most of the uh, mostly songs that are from the artists that are debuted. So um, the print itself once again looks pretty cool. Community wise, it's huge. They got um, Telegram and Discord, but the ter their Twitter community it's huge. Of course, I'm going to be showing you that as well in a few minutes. They got um, a white paper with I think more than 40 pages of info so of course later on when we your doors start diving into all that tons of info about it i'm not a music expert so i'm just trying to in a nutshell cover um what the project has to offer and later on when do your door since um uh, you going to be making or uh, some time to do that then go through all the info step by step at your own pace and go through everything because there are tons of interesting and cool uh, things to actually about this project right now without this being any kind of financial advice of course i always have to remind myself to tell you that because at the end of the day i'm not kind of i'm not any by any means any kind of financial advisor so i'm just talking about projects that once again i came across mm, i came across uh, every day and uh, that i find interesting and then i decided to share with you guys right so let's dive in into tune f this tune fm sorry this is gonna be the main website so um i like how it looks of course uh, Mm, it looks pretty nice, all related with the music theme, right? So you got to start discovering when the music gets played, the artists get paid, which is great because a lot of um, artists struggle a lot. So it's great to see also projects where at, um, artists will get the chance to be paid for their creations. And while at the same time as the fans, right, <laughs> and will be also getting paid just by being part of it and by actually using their play to earn, right? So they are powered by Hedera, Hedera Hashgraph. What is Tune FM? So what through the centralized music streaming platform and music NFT marketplace, as I mentioned already, where music NFTs stream royalty, micropayments, and social audio for artists and music fans, right? So first that you got for artists, create, artists or the creators, as I mentioned, they are going to be able to be monetizing uh, their creations, right? So you got instance royalty, you got some promotion, and you got music NFT minting. That is info about each one of those, but later on when do your deal, you guys go through it. I do not want to bore you and I do not want to make the, this um, video extremely, extremely long. So let it go and take a look at all of that. Pretty cool, all the info that you can find in each one of those, right? Now, for fans or the listeners, they have, um, they are a, we enable fans to support artists directly and get exclusive access and rewards while discovering incredible local music from around the world, right? So play to earn, as I mentioned earlier, going to be able to get paid to play songs and earn jam for listening to new promoted music. Loves less audio, a little bit of that as well, and music NFT experiences. So tons of info you guys to go through later on. You got the tokenomics right there. KYC, right? You got, uh, of course, you click on here and I will take you the white paper. Actually, the white paper, sorry, it's this one. That's for later. <laughs> it's this one. So as I said, more than 40 pages of info, ton of it. Of course, I'm not going to be diving into it. I'm not going to be reading any of that because so many things to go through. Just take a look at the table of contents and look at this. You guys, like, pretty interesting. As I said, tons of info, tons of uh, cool uh, features to dive in and to go through right so later on when do your door go and take a look at its white paper so technology hash graph you got two plus billion transactions native tokens uh, abft so go through that all that's what uh, as well founded and governed by it and you got different kind of um 
like partners they have, right? So you got Google, LG, um, T, Chainlink, just to mention a few. Roadmap progress. Uh, I think this they needed to be updated because right now they're supposed to be some somewhere here, right? Between quarter one and quarter two, actually quarter two of 2023. But well, maybe they haven't uh, updated it yet because they are waiting for something like uh, to drop some of the things and then um, actually uh, um updated here on the website but so far they are been able to accomplish everything from quarter one quarter two quarter three and quarter four of 2022 right for instance you gotta change its wallets staking and yield farming the central agent and token swap liquidity pools you got play tournament prefer rewards music nft marketplace with jump royalties and experiences right and then for quarter one and quarter two of 2023 that would be nft drop campaign with marketing engine ios and android mobile app right so those are the coming up steps for them on the roadmap. News and press, they have been featured in different sites. You got some example of those right there, like CoinTorita, Fully Crypto. It changes where you can trade, right? You got some of those. Most of them, you are most probably familiar with most of them. You got Bitmar, you got uh, White B, Big Box, or so. Just once again to mention a few. Wallace Custody, you've got uh, Coinomi, Infinitive, uh, Warda, right? Go through all of that later on. Partner, so more partner, Hedera, Hashgraph, you've got Perkins Squad, CoinMarketCap, CoinGecko, Intacoin, Hashpart, Stader, Splotters, you got Hashcan, Hedera, Splotter, Dragonglass. I'm just mentioning some of them because which I love to see. They got ton of partners, talk a ton of backers, different company they are working with. So all that info right there. You got the team plus mm, not just the faces. You also have a like and their twitters and the um, link link. So you have to click on that in case you may want to interact with them a little bit. In case you want to ask whatever doubt question you may have related to the project. If you are a creator and you want to contact them directly, whatever the info is available right there. So you got the team. You got some of the advisors and you also got some of the investors or backers that they have. And uh, well, then once again, just uh, if you want to talk, just um, add all your info for right there and then you got the links to their different socials now i mentioned that the twitter community is insanely huge so we have right there right here 40 44.2 followers so a lot of people once again interested in a prayer like this they have been um tweeting like for a while now it's you can see they got um close to k post so all that in for you guys for that to take a look at here on Twitter, join the Telegram, join their um their Discord, all the links to their socials right there, the Instagram, so and uh, get to um to interact with the community and also for hand first hand info from the team that is behind the project right now if you click on preview it will take you right here you got tune fm you got this is the beta version right so you got home discover collectibles you got artists on all albums playlist and map location a little bit of genre instruments production and a little bit of like that you click on view more and you got access to more of those so uh, once again tune fm you guys a project that uh, sounds great for creators and also for fans things there is a little bit of a uh, um, for each one of those um like for the creator side and also for the fans side right for fans for, with their um play to earn and creators themselves uh, while for they were going to be getting paid for their creations and later on are going to be able to sell it on the marketplace right so this is gonna be it <laughs> i already uh, think i talked too much but uh, so many things to go through i love products like this actually i love Prayers that were there is so much info to dive into that I do not have time to do so, right? <laughs> Anyways, you guys do you do find the time to do so? Join their communities like Telegram, Discord, whichever you prefer, or both of the or those Twitter as well, and um, and go through the white paper, go through the info in the website, the one that I didn't go through, and well, do your job, right? Because remember that at the end of the day, I'm not a financial advisor. This is just me talking about prayers that I find interesting and I came across on a daily basis. So thank you very much and see you in the next one. Bye bye.